Hi folks, hope you're all well out there still. Today's video, I'm going to be covering Lemmy. Lemmy is a, we're on their join screen at the moment, is a link aggregator for the Fediverse. It's an open source and decentralized network. So there's various different communities that you can subscribe or join and interconnect and follow and post and that sort of thing. And you'll see here they say it's similar to sites like Rebbit and Hacker News and others where you can create posts and discussions, then vote and comment on them. But it isn't just a Reddit alternative. The big thing here is it's interconnected communities run by different people and organizations. So although it'll present itself as a, a virtual single entity, there are different rules and different focus areas for the different communities. You can also start up your own server, for example, if you want to and run, the ser run a service yourself. So we can just quickly have a look here. If you go to join a server, you'll see there's a couple of servers already running. This, of course, is the flagship instance. So it's probably got, I think it's got the biggest number of users and you'll probably see the newest features first, uh, 5.9 thousand users. And there's a selection of a couple of others as well. Uh, you know, here's an example, this one for Africa, I'm not actually joined to that one, but I've got a few posts that I make about Africa. So I do post to one or two of their communities there, and I also follow those communities and comment on and, and interact with what's going on over there as well. So, you know, it's a great way of bringing a focus or a, a social media type service to those areas or communities that have been traditionally underserved by social media or they don't find a voice for themselves. So that's a really good instance of, you know, one in Africa already starting up and, and allowing the guys to sort of cluster around that and have a discussion, a local discussion uh, with local terminology, languages, that sort of thing as well. And yeah, we've got Glasgow, Canada, a couple of others. There was only about two or three when I originally looked two months ago. So they are expanding and growing, which is great. But that just gives an idea of some of the flexibility there and why it's more than just a single Reddit type instance. Obviously, the key focus with Lemmy is similar to Reddit. It's got voting up, voting down. That That is what differentiates it really from Mastodon and some of the other networks. And maybe while I'm on the topic of Mastodon, although Lemmy is also based on using the Activity Pub protocol, they haven't fully complied or conformed to the specification for the Activity Pub protocol. So at the moment, what you're going to find is it does not federate to Mastodon and the other networks within the Fediverse. It's federating amongst itself at the moment between Lemmy instances. I'll touch on that a little bit later again. We can just have a look, but the intention will be hopefully to, to get it to be able to fully federate. The reason is, I think, is that there's some of the functionality in Lemmy does not yet fit in with how the Activity Pub protocol works. So the question really will be is how do you make it well, how does it effectively federate? So I think that's just something that they're trying to deal with at the moment. So as I've said already, it is open source. You can go and have a look and see how it works and how algorithms operate within it and that sort of thing. It's fast. It's got powerful mod tools. So that's quite important, obviously, if you want to keep control and keep your network up and working uh, properly. Otherwise, you're going to find that trolls and spammers tend to take over pretty quickly. And I must say, it's not something that I've been seeing on Lemmy at all. You can create your own discussion platform within Lemmy. So there's different topics or discussion forums within a Lemmy instance or community. And it's very easy for you to create your own one, moderate it and run it like that. You don't necessarily have to start up your own server. In this particular one, I haven't created my own discussion forum yet mainly because the topics that I already post under do exist. So I'm just posting two existing forums. As we pointed out there, it's self-hostable, very easy to deploy. So things like Docker will make it very easy for people to install themselves in their own instance or own server or VPS somewhere. It's got a mobile friendly interface already, but there are some mobile apps and I will show some of those as well. Avatar support, it's got full vote scoring up or down like the old Reddit. So it's not from what I understand, Reddit has weighted the scoring. So, it, it, you know, you're not really 
getting a full vote up or down anymore, depending on your karma, I think, and a few other things. So they've made it a bit simpler and cleaner and easier to understand as well. There's is, is different theming and colors as well, emoji cons and various other things. Very important also there that they don't touch on it much, but your posts are public. So you can share a link anywhere else on the internet, whether to Twitter or Facebook or whatever the case is. And a person will be able to read the, the post They'll obviously just have to register and log in if they want to comment or vote or anything like that. But at least it's fully visible outside and no problems with that. So very easy to make it your blog as well in a way and share from here. And also RSS and Atom feeds, which means anybody can subscribe to your post and will be able to be notified of anything being posted in a particular community. Just a point to remember though, because you don't follow profiles here. You actually are following communities and topics of interest or discussion topics. So there's no personal profile following, although you do have a personal profile. And yes, you can fully erase your data uh, and also replace posts and comments and so on. And it has got sensitivity for things like work environment as well. It does rely on donations. So you have got an opportunity to donate and they do actually advertise some of their donors as well. So let's just have a look at that then. At the top of the screen, you've got the join option, which is what we're on at the moment. For the app side, you will see that there are some apps ready for Android, Linux and Windows, Limer, that's one app. There's another app here, which is for iOS, and that's, that's actually great because both of the two major platforms are covered. And then there's also uh, web apps as well. So I think we, we're quite well covered for that. I generally just use it within a browser actually, so no, no problems there really. And I've got the mobile app as well that I'm using. So yes, on sponsors, I just mentioned there, if you've pledged over a certain amount, you get your, your name and so on published there, and you can publish via Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on. Documentation, there's quite a bit of documentation as well here about the project where the name came from you can go through all of that what's very important here is the instructions on how to install it if you're hosting your own server so that they cover over here on the left hand side federating and how federating works and i said i would come back to that one point about the federation they do cover here their federation philosophy and you'll see that talk here about the federating between the Lemmy instances but obviously a question that has come quite a bit is about the activity pub and all they're saying here is it's the doors not closed our implementation is already feature complete but so far we haven't focused at all on complying with the activity pub spec so as such Lemmy is likely not compatible with implementations which expect to send and receive valid activities so hence why it's not yet you can follow the progress at this particular issue that's been logged over here and that can keep you updated of what's actually happening in that regard so that's documentation they've also got a code of conduct here and it's usually pretty well much the typical code of conduct that you'd expect for a social network and then contacts as well if you need to get hold of the developer so let's go and have a look at the actual interface. This is the interface that you see. This is, I'm actually at the moment on the lemmy.ml instance or community. And typically what you've got is this view with all the various posts at the moment. And you can see there you can vote up or you can vote down. The ability to merge communities, okay. So at the moment I'm sorting on posts itself. And these are ones that I've subscribed to. So on the right hand side here, just to expand on that a bit, it's giving you things like trending communities at the moment. These are not necessarily ones that I've subscribed to or following. These are the ones that I've already subscribed to and the ones that I'm seeing in this feed at the moment by default. As I said, I've said, show me subscribed. So it keeps it sort of very, fairly clean and, and easy to read. You're not getting all sorts of things. And there's just a summary then of the rules for this particular instance short and sweet sort of really and also a couple of interesting stats how many active users in the last day last week how many are online at the moment and who the admins are as well for the whole instance then you can also if you want to apart from just subscribe you can look at just all the local posts there that have been made on your 
local instance and you can also look at all posts this will be across the federated lemmy instances so you may very well here see i'm not sure if we can see or determine how where they if they've come from a different group that's the group there actually but i see it's just giving the the short name the other key thing here is just the sort part so these these are sort of the algorithms that you can control i'm just showing active posts and those ones that have that have been most commented on 15 comments 22 comments that type of thing but you can also look at what's hot what's just new what's got most comments what's got new comments could be old posts and then the top of the day top of the week top of the month so you've got quite a few options here to sort through and sort of see what you want to see let's just go back to subscribed so What's important here is this is a particular post or summary of the post that you see in the in the view. And you'll see you can vote up or down right here. You can see who made the post and you can see what it was posted to. This is the discussion forum itself. And you can see when it was posted about 12 hours ago. And this is just a quick snapshot view of what's in the post before you've even opened it. Here you've got an indication of how many comments have already been made on that post and you can save that post as well for coming back to later. Some have got images loaded and I'll show you just now when you open the post. In fact we can take maybe one of these. It's got a little image. There's the actual post text that you can see. And these are the comments following below and any comment you can also vote a comment up or down you can reply to a specific comment you can click here for more so you can link to that comment you can email the person and you can view source for it as well not sure what that why that would be useful but most people are looking at it in the markdown view really if you wanted to post a comment here to this, just in general, because you're not replying to one of these, you just post it here below the, the actual post, and you can say whatever you wanted to say there. But you'll see here you've got a, a couple of markdown controls. So you can mark that as bold, and you'll see it's the markdown syntax. You can make it a heading. You can insert a link. You can paste in code, quote, or lists, or whatever the case. So there's quite a lot of... Uh, features that you've got here and you can also mark it as a spoiler if necessary so that'll be the same for making any of your own new posts or making a comment to someone's post another view we can just also have a look at though is look here if you click over here you'll go to technology the actual discussion forum itself so this is somebody's forum that they're running already i've already joined it and it also gives you some basic stats, tells you who the mod is, and so on. And you can do that for any of these other forums as well. If I just go to, say, a privacy-related forum, they've put a lot more information here about the rules for the individual forum as well. And again, you've got stats and who the mod is, and these are the posts that have been. So you can also view it by a specific forum if you want to. Then, just moving along the, the top over here, we can just have a look. This shows you... All the different communities or forums that have been created and there's a bit of information about you know users per month number of posts comments number of subscribers so you can also quickly get a feel for which are the busiest communities or forums I've obviously subscribed already some but you can subscribe unsubscribe on that side and there's quite a few here to give an idea of some of the scope of what gets discussed and you can of course also search there for forums as well the next option would be to create a post so here I tend to just paste in some text for short text excerpt from articles that I want to talk about or I'll post my comment or whatever here you give it a title the URL is also what's going to pull through an image or a picture or something else as well or an excerpt from the post you're talking about. So remember Reddit and Lemmy and those type of networks is very much about posting links. So you'll see that's why the link is actually at the top. You post the link, you give it your own title, you talk about it here or put some comment in there. 
and you then will select a community to post it to. You can search. So for example, I know there's a books one, but when I was earlier trying to find if there was something about reading, no, there wasn't anything on reading. But if you go back and you say, say books, then okay, there's a couple of options there for books and you choose books. You can just click there if it's going to be a sensitive post and it'll obviously hide the content until somebody's accepted and clicks uh, open. And then you just basically click create and that's it. That's as simple as it. So it's very quick and easy to create posts. The other option here is to create a community. So this is all you need to do to create a community. Give it a name, uh, the, the display name. These will be shortened names actually here like an identifier. You can upload an icon, a banner. This will be the sidebar where you can put some rules and instructions and other things in on the side. And you can also choose a general category just to help group them as well over there. And also once again to say whether it's you know sensitive or not. And that's really creating. The other thing I just want to show though was you can obviously opt for alerts and things as well over here you'll see there's actually, I've got one alert or notification for something that somebody has replied or responded to one of my posts. So if I click on that, on the particular comment that was left here, you can see what they're responding to, which post I made, in what group, who it is, and okay, there's their comment. Obviously, if you've got 20 or 30 comments, you could use some of this to sort and so on as well. But the important part here is, yes, I would talk before you can vote up and down and that sort of thing here. But there's also this here. I have actually replied to this comment already uh, from another view. So I, I know I can say I can mark it as red and it'll disappear. That's how you get rid of your notifications that you've dealt with, which is quite nice because you can park some of them for a bit, little bit later if you want to. Then I can just show maybe the profile view. So again, as I said, you can't follow a profile, but you've got a, a banner and an avatar you can, on the right hand side of some of your settings as well, you can choose your, like your theme, your main sort types over there for your feed and a couple of other things down there. Then you'll see it also tells you when you joined and you can filter over here on everything that you've posted, either by comments, by posts, stuff that you've saved or just an overview. An overview really will just give you a synopsis of your most recent posts that you've made, in my case these, and then comments that I've made as well over, over the last little while and so on. So that's really the profile view. And then just one thing I should have shown under uh, any particular community forum or discussion group, if I say go to this one, there is also over here, that's where you get the RSS feed. If you click on that little link, you'll get your link to paste into your RSS reader. So that is actually pretty well much then Lemmy in a nutshell. It's not a complicated uh, site. It's not trying to do all sorts of other things. It's really focusing on the posts, the voting up and the voting down. You can see that in action, like I said, when you're actually using the, the service and you use some of these filtering functionalities that you're given over here you can really make it suit how and what you see so i think also based around topics again makes it very focused around your interests it's not in summary then it's really not about following people it's about following interest hobbies and discussion topics that are focused on particular interests that you have so i think it's got something for everybody really if it hasn't you can create your own community very easily as i showed up there but it's a network I quite enjoy and I'm really looking forward and hoping that they do manage to federate with the rest of the Fediverse. That will mean that people could make this their home, post in here and allow you know, the numerous users across the rest of the Fediverse to follow from wherever they are as well. That is after all the sort of the idea of the Fediverse. But like I say, Lemmy is not an old network yet. Um, give it some time. It's been evolving quite a bit. There's been quite a few releases as well and updates so let's keep an eye on it and if anyone's interested you know as i said join it there you can also find me there i'm posting quite a few of my posts on the network and so far like i said my experience has been very very pleasant i've really had no issues the guys do challenge you a little bit on you know questions around some of what you post and that sort of thing but all very friendly spirit and so far not really seen any 
any form of really active trolling or spamming or anything on this network. So it's a very nice network to join, especially if your main focus around social media is interests and and hobbies and, and that sort of thing. So if you want to give it a try and see what you think. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.